Outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel on Hi If You're New. It's me Haley, and I'm back here with another video. Today I'm going to share with you guys my homeschool advice, and hopefully you guys find this helpful. And without further ado, let's get straight on to the video. Okay, so I wrote down some ideas of topics I want to talk about, about being homeschooled. I've been homeschooled since my second semester of my sophomore year, and I'm currently in my senior year of high school. And these are just some tips that I've found that have helped me with the transition from public school to online school. Because before I did homeschool, I did public school my entire life. So let me give you guys some advice. Okay, first tip that I think is really, really important, not only for homeschool, but I guess for like anyone, is to stay organized. When you're homeschooling, you're gonna have anywhere from like five to seven classes, depending on your schedule. Um, for me, I take six classes. So it's really important to stay on top and organized. The best way I can advise you to do that is to have a planner. I personally have two. I have like my little planner um, that I can travel with anywhere and then I also have a big calendar planner that sits right above my desk and this just helps me stay organized with my classes with other things that are going on in my life besides school like events traveling videos anything like that it helps me keep track with my entire life and I think this is also a really good habit and skill to have especially if you plan to go to college to stay organized all that kind of thing Tip number two, have a good workspace. Whether this is somewhere in your room, this is somewhere in your house, a dining table, whatever, make sure you have a good workspace and good environment. Because if you're working with a super small space that's dirty and untidy and unorganized, you're not gonna stay focused and your brain's gonna be cluttered and focusing more on the distractions than it is on the work. So make sure you have a good workspace that is clean and a place where you can work that is not your bed. Also, another tip I have is to make a to-do list and do not make it overwhelming. I know that we try to be as productive as we can, but in reality, we can't always be productive. So make sure you make a to-do list. My best advice for you guys, if you have a busy schedule, is to make a list at your top of your list, make a priority. So this is like three to four things that you know that you have to get done that or your number one priority that you need to get done today. And then you can add a couple more to the bottom that aren't as important, but you would like to get done. But don't make this to-do list super overwhelming and you're looking at it and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't do this. This is way too much. Do a couple of steps. I don't do more than like eight or 10. Like that's just like excessive. Don't overwhelm yourself. You have now, I don't know about you guys, but my homeschool program is very flexible. So I can do like certain school days, you know, I can do school kind of whenever. So if you can do that as well, I recommend doing one class each day of the week. So depending on how many classes you have, whether you have five, six or seven, make a day designated for each class. So for Monday, it's math. Tuesday, it's reading. Wednesday, it's history. Thursday, it's science. Friday, it's electives or something along that realm. I find that it just is a lot easier to get it done one day than like getting it all confused with all six classes and you do homeschool so you have a lot more flexibility than you would in any other school capacity whether that's public school or private school or anything like that next eliminate all distractions this can be your phone your ipad this is really really hard one for me personally i get distracted by my phone i think a lot of us can relate to that and my best advice is to just put it somewhere else, somewhere where you can't see it. Sometimes I'll do scoring at my desk and then I'll leave my phone in the kitchen or something like that um, where I can't see it and it's not there. I can't see notifications pop up. So I'm focusing purely on school. Um, but it's really important to eliminate all these distractions. And like I said, this also goes hand to hand with having a clean workspace and no distractions. You'll find yourself to be very successful and very productive. Next tip is to have a routine. This is super, super important. And I also think it's also a really good habit to have some sort of routine in your morning or in your day. If you find yourself to be more productive at night or at lunchtime or in the morning, create a school routine that works when you are most productive. If you're most productive towards the evening, 
then do that. If you're more productive in the morning, then do that. Personally, I kind of fluctuate and I don't like to have like the same schedule all the time. So I actually have a couple different ones. So I have one for like my, when I'm more, I have one for more when I feel like I'm going to be productive in the morning. And I also have like a nighttime one and just create a routine of like what you want to do. So let's say you're productive in the morning, set a time where you're going to wake up, set a time that you're going to get ready, then set a time to plan out your to-do list, then do your schoolwork and so forth. And that is just so helpful. Also, don't forget to give yourself breaks when these are extremely important. You don't want to overwhelm yourself. And it's okay to give yourself a 15, 30 minute break to go get a snack, a drink. Um, you can even go on social media or watch some YouTube or Netflix. Just remember that you have things to get done. Next, um, these kind of go hand in hand what I've already talked about. But to have good habits and to, have, and to change up your routine. And personally for having good habits just be consistent with your things if you have things you want to accomplish goals you want to reach you probably are going to need to have a routine so try to be consistent but it's also okay to change up your routine sometimes when you do homeschool things can get really repetitive and really boring really quickly so it's okay to change up your routine and like i said this could be instead of maybe get up a little bit later or get up a little bit earlier or maybe instead of doing if you work out in the morning maybe change your workout into more of like a pilates or a yoga maybe add journaling into your routine or just something fun next step is to make goals these are important for anyone whether you are in public school online school home school whether you're in college or you're not in college having having good goals are just super important because it gives you something to reach it gives you some sort of motivation to reach it whether this is any kind of goals um specifically this video is for school so let's say my goal is to get straight a's for the semester have yourself that goal of getting straight a's what are you going to do to get there think of goals as like a ladder you can have one big one let's say since this is a homeschool video i want to get straight a's for the semester how are you going to reach that ladder? You can reach that by studying, by making good notes and attending all your classes and asking questions to teachers because at the end of the day, that's what they're there for. My last step for all of you guys is to have good notes. I know we're just like reading and like skimming along, but making sure you have good notes to look back on when it's time to study for those exams or quizzes are really, really nice to have. Um, I personally used to write them in my notebook, but now I just do them online. Um, my school actually even gives us a note guide. So I just will like print that out and then like fill it in. And it's easy. It literally takes me like 20 minutes to do. So if your school does that, make sure you do that. Any study guides or syllabus they give you, make sure you have that on hand. If you're more of a visual learner, make sure you print that out so that we have it for you when you need it and that is pretty much it for today's video if you guys did enjoy this make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below any other advice you have if you do online school and i will see you guys in my next video happy vlogmas